Chinese word for nature, Zilan, means that which happens of itself. Your hair grows by itself, your heart beats by itself, you breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control over these things. So we say it happens spontaneously. So when you go to sleep and you try to go to sleep, you interfere with the spontaneous process of going to sleep. You try to breathe, you know, real hard. You find you get balled up with your breathing. You've got to let go. And let it happen. Because if you don't, you're going to be all clutched up. You're going to be constantly trying to do what can happen healthily only if you don't try. But we have a strange anxiety that if we don't interfere, it won't happen. And that's the root of the non-smart trouble. But the basis of it all is this. If we say, you must survive, but I must survive, life is earnest, and I've got to go on. Then your life is a drag and not a game. Now it's my contention, my personal opinion, this is my basic metaphysical axiom, let me put it that way, that the existence of the physical universe is basically a fable. There is no necessity for it whatsoever. It isn't going. That is to say, it doesn't have some destination ought to arrive at. In music, one doesn't make the end of the composition. If that were so, the best conductors would be those who played fastest. People go to concerts just to hear one crashing chord, because that's the end. Same way in dancing. You don't aim at a particular spot in the book. That's where you should arrive. The whole point of the dancing